Ominous signs to see a neurologist. Many of the neurological symptoms unfortunately give no hint of the serious diseases that follow in their trail. What are these seemingly benign symptoms, which jolt neurologists out of their blissful complacency? A numb chin is the most deceptive sinister symptom in neurology. Not many people will rush to their doctors to complain about a numb chin. But it is a symptom that makes neurologists very nervous. This is because the chin gets its sensory supply from the mandibular branch of the fifth cranial nerve. The trigeminal nerve has three branches. And neurologists know that, for some bizarre reason. Cancers from other parts of the body occasionally send deposits to this nerve. The numb chin syndrome is therefore not to be considered lightly. Muscle twitching is a very common problem all of us have experienced. A flickering of an overused and tired muscle. A twitching of the odd finger, the quivering of the calf muscles in older people. Neurologists call this as fasciculation. They are only to be concerned if fasciculation are persistent, progressive, and widespread. And also usually only if the affected muscles are weak. In such cases neurologists worry that fasciculation are the forerunners of sinister diseases. The motor neuron disease are known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or Lou Gehrig disease. Many people with muscle twitching will however have nothing seriously wrong with them, aunt. Many will be shooed out of the consulting room with the label of benign fasciculation syndrome. There are many other causes of fasciculation, but motor neuron disease is clearly the most sinister of them all. Transient visual loss is a serious problem. Neurologists often ask people with headache if their vision blurs or disappears for brief periods. These visual obscuration are not as dramatic as the visual loss that accompanies minor strokes or transient ischemic attacks. Visual obscurations affect both eyes and last only a few seconds. They are the result of sudden but brief increases in an already elevated pressure in the head. This may occur with relatively benign conditions such as idiopathic intracranial hypertension, but it may also indicate a serious disorder such as a brain tumor. Sudden loss of bowel or bladder control would surely concern many people, but often not with the urgency it deserves. There are many non-neurological causes of bowel or bladder incontinence, but the sudden onset suggests that it is arising from the nervous system. The worrying diagnoses are spinal cord compression and spinal cord inflammation or transverse myelitis. These disorders are often associated with other symptoms such as leg stiffness and weakness. But do not wait for these symptoms to set in, see a neurologist before that. Saddle anesthesia is loss of sensation around the genitals and buttocks. This arises when the nerves coming off the lower end of the spinal cord, the cauda equina, are compressed. The unpalatable condition, cauda equina syndrome, worries neurologists because the compression may be due to a tumor in the spinal canal. A painful droopy eyelid is a deceptively benign symptom, which worries neurologists. The neurologist preferred to call ptosis, is particularly concerning if it is accompanied by double vision. One worrying disorder, which causes ptosis, is myasthenia gravis, and this presence with ptosis on both sides. More dangerous is the ptosis, which is present only on one side, particularly if it is painful. This may be due to brain aneurysms, arise from the posterior communicating artery. As the aneurysm grows, it presses on the third cranial or oculomotor nerve, that controls the eyeballs and keeps the eyelids open. An aneurysm is literally a time bomb in the brain that can burst and cause a catastrophic bleeding in the brain. This makes ptosis an ominous sign, but also a helpful, neurological symptom to detect an aneurysm before it burst. There are many other causes of ptosis including Horner's syndrome. Don't be panicked, get that eyelid checked out, if it refuses to straighten out. Thunderclap headache is a symptom that means exactly what it says. Neurologists will ask if the onset felt as if one was hit by a cricket bat. Almost everyone with thunderclap headache readily agreed this is what it feels like. It is such a distressing symptom that it does not strike the afflicted person. Doctors are more concerned about investigating them, 
and curing their headache. The patient should be rushed to the CT scanner, followed by a lumbar puncture. The doctors then heave a huge sigh of relief, when the spinal fluid shows no blood or blood products. Reassured that the patient has not suffered a subarachnoid hemorrhage from a ruptured brain aneurysm. There are many other causes of a thunderclap headache. But the ruptured aneurysm is the most sinister. If one develops a thunderclap headache, don't wait to see a neurologist. Just get to the nearest hospital. Do not feel hurt if you are across the Pacific. It is also a thunderclap headache, if it felt like being hit by a baseball bat. Thank you.